Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm doing your weekly readings, looking at the week ahead. Watch these in divine timing. Currently the week ahead means the week of October 14th, 2019, but whenever you're guided to watch any video on my channel, that's when you should go ahead and watch it, okay? Don't uh, focus too much on the time frames. And as always, just keep in mind, the readings are very general. And make sure to watch your sun, your moon, your rising. This is going to be for Aquarius. Some of rising Venus signs may also resonate if you're dealing with an Aquarius. I want to say a big thank you for all the love you've shown me um, so far. <laughs> uh, and especially like last week, uh, your your video had a lot of views. And I know, I know a lot of you are commenting and, and liking. So I just, whatever you do to show your support, I truly appreciate it. Um, and I guess we're getting started. <laughs> uh, so... Ten of Cups, very nice. Nine of Pentacles. Working from home, home-based business, family business. Could also talk about choices. Do you commit to someone and start a family? Do you stay single? Yeah, Eight of Swords, some big, uh, big decisions. You may be dealing with Aquarius. Three of Pentacles. The Emperor, for some of you what I'm getting is your career is taking off at the same time when your relationship or family life is, is taking off and moving to the next level. So for example, you know, your career is taking off and you find out that you're going to be a mother or a father, you know. The Star, there's definitely a wish coming true around family or relationships, pregnancy. The Ten of Wands. For some of you, what I'm getting with this is, um, what's it called? I don't know, I don't know if it has a name, but when you, um, when you're past due, when you are past your due date, and you're, you may be uh, on bed rest <laughs> as a result. Yeah, Six of Cups, beautiful. Definitely the energy of children. Six of Wands. And see, you've got, you've got children, you've got love, and then you've got victory with business at the same time. So I feel that, you know, it's just a really busy time for you, and you may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Queen of Cups. So at the bottom of the deck, yeah, we have the Nine of Wands. This is the Mystical Manga Tarot deck. The Nine of Wands is uh, just feeling exhausted, you know. You're, you're fending for yourself. Uh, you've got a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. You may be uh, kind of, you know, it's, it's up to you or you're feeling like everything's up to you to figure out, to sort out, to get done, whatever. Um, you've been through a lot to get to where you are. And that's, that's what I feel is part of it. You've been through a lot to get to where you are with career, let's say, but now your family life is taking over at the same time. So you're feeling like, oh, so I'm gonna have to give up on everything I've worked for so hard in this you know, side of my life. Um, Cause I really wanna be there for my partner and, and for family and, and, and all that. So feeling a little bit overwhelmed and feeling like, um, you just need to dig up new new resources of, of, of strength here uh, to keep going. Um, feeling a little bit on edge. Yeah, but you have the Ace of Swords underneath. So the Ace of Swords just talks about clarifying things. I feel that you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself when you don't really need to. Okay, I feel that you feel people are expecting a lot more from you than what they actually do. Okay, and it's coming down to you putting pressure on yourself that you don't have to. Okay, you're putting pressure on yourself to be uh, the best partner, the best provider, the best parent, the best brother, sister, whatever, while at the same time be the best employee and be the best boss and, and whatnot, okay? Um, this isn't saying that you can't do that. It's just saying you've got the nine of wands and the ten of wands. You're you're overburdening yourself. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. You don't have to do everything by yourself. Okay. Both these cards are saying just ask for support. Ask for a break. Ask for a breather or ask for support from others. 
they're more than happy to be there for you, okay? Because otherwise you might push yourself too far um, and it's gonna affect your sleep, it's gonna affect your ability to rest properly, you won't be able to be present and you'll feel stuck when actually it's a beautiful time in your life, you know what I mean? There's no reason to feel this way. There's definitely a, a pregnancy happening or, or a child coming into the world with this. This is also the energy of unconditional support. You've got friends and family there for you. If you just ask them to be there, they're already there. You know, you just have to let them in and rely on them to help you out, to pick up the load. Because see, you have the three of pentacles here and the six of wands. So to be victorious with everything that you want to be victorious in, you can do that. It's just, you're going to have to work with people. You're going to have to collaborate. You're going to have to come together with others to have your victory. Okay, so no one's going to challenge you. No one's going to take anything from you. No one's going to compete with you if you ask them to come on board and, and work with you on a situation. They will genuinely just have your back and do what you tell them to, what you say you need them to, okay? It's really beautiful energy of support here. You just kind of have to open your eyes to it with the Eight of Swords. And then the Emperor with the Queen of Cups, this could be Aries energy with Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be getting what you're working towards, especially if it's a new job or a promotion. Definitely the energy of uh, fatherhood or motherhood. Pregnancy, the Queen of uh, Cups there as well. And this is feeling a lot more in charge, a lot more in control of yourself, of the situation. You're no longer feeling overwhelmed. Uh, you've got a clear mind to make uh, decisions for yourself as well as everyone else you're um, uh, providing for, caring for, responsible for. So a very strong message is you don't have to do it alone. You got nothing to prove. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. <laughs> um, and it's okay to reach out and uh, uh, allow people, not even ask for help, they're already there and they're already trying to help you, but allow them to help you, allow them to support you, okay? Um, for others of you, this is definitely a time of uh, wishes coming true when it comes to relationships family, okay, especially around children. I do feel that you have, um, for some, the decision you have to make, it's like, you feel like you have to choose between your business and your uh, work, your regular nine to five, because it's just getting too much. So you might be thinking of just giving up on your business and doing the nine to five, because you have to, because maybe you have a, a child on the way or whatever, but Again, the message is just open up, allow people to help you, allow people to pick up the slack, okay? You don't have to do everything yourself. And then with the emperor, you can be on top of absolutely everything without struggling, okay? The, the emperor is a good manager. The emperor is someone who uses all the resources they have at their disposal the best way they can be used, okay? Um, and you, you can do that and you should, that's your guidance. For others of you, I do see someone trying to come back into your life that you haven't spoken to or they haven't spoken to you. Someone blocked someone else with this energy. You may have been in a long-term commitment. You may have children together or you were talking of marriage and children. But I do feel like someone just took their stuff and left. It was too much for them. Um, I do see this person trying to come back and trying to work with you and kind of do their part. Um, it's going to be different for everyone, but I feel that 
for some of you, the guidance is let this person show you what they mean, you know, or, or let them prove themselves to you. Again, it's just going to be different for everyone, but I do get a sense of they, they're genuinely uh, wanting to work with you, to be there for you, to be who you need them to be. They've matured. This could be vice versa. So I do feel that the guidance is to, to give this person a chance to prove themselves. If you kind of want to do, if you want to allow them in your life, but you're afraid they're not going to stick around, okay? If in that situation, test them. For those of you, I feel that you are so focused on your work, you're not even interested in love. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Um, and for others, it could be someone in work. I feel that you have no clue this person likes you. And they might be kind of, you know, coming forward and telling you um, how they feel or asking you out or, or um, stuff like that. With the Nine of Wands, though, I do feel that either you're very defensive and um, with the Emperor energy there, it's like, no, we work together. We can't do this. I'm sorry. End of story. Okay, so someone has very, very strict um, rules for themselves that they follow. And for those, you know what, this is like, you might like the boss or the boss might like you. Um, the only thing I'll, I'm going to say with that is just, you know, be careful. It can get complicated. But I do see this as a, a time of great success. The right people have their eye on you and they're very impressed with your work. And there is a, a, a sense of victory coming up, okay? An advancement, promotion. Very, very possible here. So really, uh, really cool, really cool reading Aquarius. Okay, you're doing very well for yourself. Either you're too focused on what you're doing that you don't even care about love or friends or family at this time. And you know what, there's seasons to everything. Every now and again, we do go through such a phase. Um, you're looking at reconciling, in which case you're, you will test someone, you will give them a chance to prove themselves for the most part, I feel. Um, business doing great happy home life you just have to allow people to be there for you okay so maybe working on some trust issues there okay and uh, uh, reminding yourself that you're not alone and you don't have to do everything yourself and that actually um, no one else puts expectations on you the way you put expectations on yourself okay and that's not a bad thing, but we can get carried away with that because I'm the same, okay? Um, I'm a Pisces sun, but um, when it comes to that, I do put very high expectations on myself. I don't even care about anyone else's standards. My standards matter to me, and my standards for myself are sometimes too high, and I put pressure on myself that other people have no clue about. They don't care. They think I'm doing a fantastic job as it is, you know what I mean? Um, and that's the kind of energy that I'm getting for you. So just take a step back and kind of assess where you are. Okay, is it necessary for you to feel so burned out? Is it necessary for you to take so much on all at the same time? Okay, because I feel like you're doing such a great job by not even trying so hard because that's just who you are. You know, you just do a good job um, with whatever this is. Okay, that it actually you can see that it's okay to just relax a little bit. It's okay, you know, because you've got people there to, to be there for you, to support you, to pick up the slack, okay? And they're actually already impressed with you without you even trying that hard. So take it for what it's worth. But I hope the messages help if you're dealing with these energies. So let me know, okay? Comment down below. Let me know what you're dealing with and if the reading helps or, or whatever it is you want to tell me. I'm, I'm interested in hearing from you. Uh, watch all your signs. Definitely make the most of the energy. And I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.